Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be making our way over to the Academy Crystal Caves. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen. And that is absolutely nothing. I did nothing off screen. So we have nothing to talk about and we can go ahead and go into our map. Let's go ahead and put our first marker down. Our first marker is going to be right here. Our second marker is going to be right here. And then our third marker is going to be right there. Top on torrent. Oops. Missed that. Be careful for this guy. It's not that hard, but never know right here we can pick up the fire monks prayer book go ahead and get rid of that marker and get ourselves some dappled cured meat hop back on torrent if you want to kill these guys you can just gonna ride right past them Grab some ballista bolts. Be really careful. We're going to have those vulgar guys. The weird gnome looking guys. Just ride right by them. Pay them no mind. Go ahead and go into the Ever Jail. This is a pretty easy fight. You shouldn't have too much issues with this guy. And he's dead. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. He's going to drop us the flame of the fell god. That's a pretty cool looking spell. Although when it comes to PvE and PvP, it is quite useless. So do whatever you want with it. It is not the best spell for use, but it looks really cool. Right here, we're going to drop down, get ourselves a sacrificial twig. And not that we need to, but we're going to just to get a little bit of extra health back. We're going to sit at that grace. Let's go ahead and put a few more markers down. We're going to put a marker here. And then we're going to put a marker right over here and then a marker right here a marker right here and then our last marker will be right over here let's hop on torrent we're gonna make our way to the first marker even though it's bunched up with all the other ones just kind of follow this road be careful for all the enemies. Try to jump at you. There's one mounted enemy as well. These guys shouldn't really be that much of a threat to you. But if they are, there's a grace to rest at. To de-aggro all the enemies. 
we been to this area before. We want to take this guy out as fast as we can. There we go. You should drop us some um, Ghost Glove War 2. I like to kill all these guys. They are just extremely obnoxious. And I don't like them summoning up their wraiths and chasing us all the time. Grab the Smithing Stone 3. We can heal ourselves as well. Take that guy out. They will drop a ton of Grave Violet, so if you need that, you can farm these guys for it. Over here we get ourselves a Ritual Pot. That's essentially a better Cracked Pot. It makes better um, throwing items, so if that's what you're looking for, the Ritual Pots are the better version of the Cracked Pots. Grab ourselves a Golden Ruin 3. And then we're going to head west. And this is going to take us down. By the way, let's turn on our lantern so we have a little light. This is going to take us down here. We're going to grab the bell that those enemies were using. And we'll be able to summon up our own wraiths to uh, chase people with. We get the Wraith Calling Bell. If you want to use the spell that those enemies are using, that's how you do it. Not very useful in my opinion, but you never know. Might find some use out of it. We're going to head over to the second marker. Quite a few enemies over here as well. And then we're going to have some land squirts. Not really a threat. So we can just hop into this gazebo and then hop out. Get our three smithing stone twos. And then we're going to head southwest. Not really going to head over to the right just yet. Okay, head over to this gazebo here. Hello. Hello. Please. Over here. Hello. It's rather chilly here, isn't it? My mistress sent me off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian. And now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only... He too is tarnished. If you've any qualms confronting your own, I shall find another. Oh, thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. This NPC right here, she's going to help us get to the Volcano Manor later on into the game. So we want to help her get that necklace back. Let's hop on Torrent right here. If you want a bird's eye view of the area, here's the bird, bird's eye telescope. That is a mouthful to say. Be careful for the land octopus, by the way. Try not to draw its aggro. Because we're going to be talking to Patches in just a second. We're going to light that grace. Let's get rid of this marker. And then we're going to talk to Patches quite a bit here. Oh, well. It, it's been a long while. It's me. Patches the untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. 
but everything here is top notch. Hatches Emporium, now open in Rea Lucaria. By the way, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well, uh, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this. A surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers fully intact. So right, if you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. Or so I'm told. <laughs> Be sure to remember what he said there. Because later on, when we get into the main dungeon, we are going to be going to that Iron Virgin. For now, let's go ahead and purchase a few items. We're going to get the Missionary's Cookbook 2. We're going to get the Stone Sword Key. And then we're also going to buy a Margit Shackle. A little fun fact about Margit Shackle. If you run over here and buy this early before you fight Margit the first time in Stormvale Castle. You can use this to make the boss fight a little easier, but honestly, it's really not that necessary. So do with that information as you will. All this other stuff, by the way, I will come back and I will buy it off screen as always. I just want to make sure that I'm buying all the important stuff for everybody. Also, if you do decide to buy all of this stuff, make sure that you save at least a thousand runes. We're going to be needing that here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and leave patches to his own devices. Cheers for that. We're going to head over to the fifth marker. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? Ah, that necklace what you're after, is it? Mm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. You're a shrewd one, Chief. First, you hand me the runes, and don't try nothing, neither. So we'll buy Raya's necklace for a thousand runes. Hmm. All right. Take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't come crying to me later. Oh, piss off. What is it now? Oh, I see. You want some of me prawn? Freshly cooked it is. All right then. It's yours. If you can meet me price, I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too. If you've got the runes. Oh. So you met the girl, did you? All right, well. Sod the particulars of the matter. But it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped, is it? Anyway, she ain't all right, that one. Look, she ain't died on the bloody roadside, I reckon. Let's go ahead and purchase five boiled prawn from him. You don't have to do this, but 
it opens up a little bit of extra dialogue. You're tarnished too, ain't you? Can you see it then? The guidance of grace, I mean. I can't see it at all no more. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no-name shithead like me should get called to the lands between. Cruel bloody joke, you ask me. Maybe something went tits over it. Maybe it's been broke for a good long time. The earth tree, I'm saying. Never met someone with a taste for brawn or can trust. We'd make good mates, I reckon. I'll be seeing you. So we get the spread out emote from him. Also, a little side note. If you don't have the ruins or you don't care about his side quest, you can kill him and get the necklace for Rhea and bring it back to her that way. I just want to make sure that I'm doing everybody's side quest. So if you don't care about his side quest, kill him, get the necklace, bring it to Rhea. Let's rest at this grace real fast. And we're going to put a few more markers down. First marker is going to be right here. Second one right here. Third one about right here. Fourth one inside this gazebo. And then lastly, the fifth one's going to be right here. Let's go into our equipment. We're going to go over to the boiled prawn. Maybe. Where is it at? No, we just bought it. Are you kidding me? Oh, pfft. I'm so blind. <laughs> I'm sorry. There it is. I just passed it like three times. Let's go ahead and hop on Torrent and then head over to the first marker. Now be really careful. We have these lobster slash prawn enemies and they hurt. So just be really careful when you're running by them. Get some uh, rainbow stones. If you don't care about those rainbow stones, don't bother. You just bypass this area altogether. And then right here on this rune, we can go up top. Get ourselves some tarnished golden sunflowers. Just keep heading towards the second marker. This is going to be another grace. If we can get off torrent here. And then right over there, we can see a lone lobster patrolling. We're going to be fighting this guy. But before we do, let's drink our flask. We'll eat a boiled prawn. And then we can buff ourselves. Jumped away from us. Try not to get too close to that gazebo. It will be bad for you. Also, try not to get too far away from them. They have a spitting attack that absolutely sucks. That is a grab. Do not be grabbed by them. It sucks extremely bad. So when they lift up like that, just try not to be in their way. Oh, 
There we go. And we're not done yet. We have to be a grafted scion now. Oops. Having that boiled prawn does help quite a bit. Definitely negates a lot of damage that you could be taking. So for killing the grafted scion, we'll get ourselves a larval tier to be able to respect with later if we need to. I'm going to hop back on Torrent. Be really careful. Over here are three of those lobster enemies. They're sleeping. Try not to wake them up. You just want to grab the three smithing stone twos. And then get out of here. We're going to head over to the fifth marker. Go ahead and talk to Vare. Ah, there you are. You claimed a great rune and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. What was your impression? Go ahead and tell him they didn't seem right. Aha. Your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I have high hopes for you, my lambkin. So to continue Vare's quest, we're going to have to go online and fight three to five people. We're going to have to invade them, not just fight them. We have to go and invade people three to five times. My recommendation is going online and going over to the first steps where you first started the game and use the festering bloody fingers that he gave you and just wait to be able to invade somebody either fight them um, if you like pvping if not invade them and then immediately exit out it still counts as an invasion and then we'll come back to vare now i'm not going to show that on screen i'm going to do it off screen so whenever we come back to talk to vare later on into the walkthrough I will already have that stuff done. So do make sure that you do that. That way, whenever we come back, we can continue his quest line. Okay, now that that's all been said, let's come inside here. We do have an item right there, but before we get it, we're going to come over here and take out this enemy here. Over here we have some albinorks. Take them out. Then we can pick up the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 12. I like to grab as much Blood Rose as I can because I love making me some blood grease. 
Now let's go ahead and put a few more markers down. We're going to put a marker here. We're going to put a marker right here. We're going to put a marker about right here. And then we're going to put a marker over here. And then our last marker will be right about there. So the first marker right here, we have some Albinorix right there patrolling. Try not to get their attention if you can help it. If not, just do your best. We're going to be grabbing this golden scarab. And get one of my most favorite um, spells in the game, Blood Flame Blade. We are going to be using that a lot in this walkthrough, at least I am. That spell will add blood loss buildup to your weapon. It does stack and it will also add fire damage to your weapon as well. So you get two buffs, fire and blood loss. Be careful for the spells that these big Miranda flowers cast at you. Now they will poison you. I don't really care if they do. We're going to be running into a grace fairly soon. I just want to get all the ruins. But if you don't want to be poisoned, just take your time. Wait for it to quit spewing out the poison mist. And then grab the runes. Get rid of this marker here. And then grab ourselves three more smithing stone twos. We're going to heal through our poison. Right here, we can pick up this item. And then if you want to fight all those Albinorix, you can. I'm just going to grab the Ice Rind Hatchet. Pretty cool hatchet if you ask me. It has Frost Buildup or Frost Bite Buildup. And it also has Hoarfrost Stomp on it as well. So if you like Frost Bite or Hoarfrost Stomp, pretty cool hatchet to equip and play around with. Let's go ahead and rest at this grace. Get those enemies to de-aggro. So right about here where this long line is on the map, we want to go about right here, put a marker, and then over here, put a marker, and then a marker over here. There's gonna be a dragon right over here. Um, we're not gonna fight it. We're just going to do a smash and grab we're going to grab three items. The most important item that we're going to grab is the Academy Glintstone Key. And then we will put a marker here. And then lastly, we will put a marker right here. We can run over here right where this marker is. Right here, we have a summoning pool. Wasn't too far off. We can hop on Torrent. We're gonna pull out our bow. We have another silver scarab over here. This, you don't want to get too close to the scarab because then it will disappear and teleport to another location and you just got to keep chasing it down until you hit it with some kind of ranged weapon. So if you have a bow, use your bow, kill it, get yourself a somber smithing stone too. And then now for the fun part. 
you can see the dragon is sleeping, which is good. Like I said, this is going to be a smash and grab. And the most important part is going to be the Academy Glintstone Key. So grab the Cure Keys, Academy Glintstone Key, and then some Dragon Wound Grease, and just get out of there. Now, I was being a little slower to show everybody the items. My opinion, just grab everything as quick as you can and just book it. Right here we have our Grace. We'll light it and then sit at it to de aggro that dragon and then get rid of this marker. We'll hop back on Torrent. We'll head to the last marker and then we will end the video right after. Go ahead and use two stone sword keys in here. And then we'll go into the Academy Crystal Cave. We'll light the grace. And then we'll end the video right here. And then when we come back, we'll have um, quite a few stuff to do, but mostly we'll be finishing up grabbing all the items in Liurnia, and then we can start on all the side content. So all our side quests, killing dragons, uh, doing night bosses and stuff like that. We'll finish that all up and then we'll move on to the Rhea Lucaria Academy and Rhea Lucaria will be finished after that. Now that that's all been said, I want to tell everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, Signing off.